Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is TCP three-way handshake. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a reliable and connection-oriented transport protocol. With the TCP, data can be delivered successfully and accurately. Many applications such as web, email, and FTP use TCP. Before TCP transmits data, it will use a three-way handshake to establish a connection. Here is an example. Suppose a client wants to get web pages from a server. But before any web page transmission, TCP connection must be established first through three-way handshake. Step 1. The client sends a sync segment to the server, asking for synchronization. Synchronization means the connection. This message simply asks, Hello server, can you open a connection for me? Step 2. The server replies with SYNC ACK. SYNC ACK means synchronization and acknowledgement. The server acknowledges the client connection request. It also asks a client to open a connection too. Step 3. The client replies with ACK, which is like yes. Then the two-way connection is established between them. Now let's take a look at this three-way handshake again in a little bit technical way. Step 1. The client sends a same segment with the initial sequence number 9001. For example, ACK is set at 0 and SYNC is set 1. Step 2. The server replies with SYNC ACK. Notice that server's SYNC is set 1, ACK number is 9002, which is the client sequence number plus 1. By adding 1 to the client sequence number, the server simply acknowledges the client connection request. The server's segment has its own initial sequence number, 5001. I just use a simple number here. In real life, sequence number can be very long. Step 3. The client responds. This time, there's no more synchronization or connection request. That's why SYNC is set at 0. But the client acknowledges the server's connection request by increasing the server-side sequence number by 1. That's why ACK number is 5002. Notice the segment sequence number is 9002 since it is the second segment issued by the client at this point. Its initial sequence number is 9001 and now is 9002. At this point, both the client and the server have agreed to open their connection to each other. The steps 1 and 2 establish the connection from the client to the server. The steps 2 and 3 establish the connection from the server to the client. Thus, two-way communication channel is established and they are ready to exchange their messages.